Kunal, how lucky are we? And how lucky are we? Just imagine. Why you won a ticket to the Indian Grand Prix? No, for the first time we saw a Grand Prix with twenty-three cars. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going. Yes, I know where you're going. <laughs> you're talking of the car that Kim Jong Un of North Korea sent out <laughs> to prove his prove his superiority over the South Korea. And that car let Vettel so total respect <laughs> for him. <laughs> My name is Rishi Kapoor. Kunal Jha on the other side of the table gets together with me every Monday night, where he actually gets me food, and then we we talk about the dessert of life, Formula One on the inside line F1 Grand Prix. Hey. Woo! What a race! What a race! Another victory for Vettel. uh very happy for the guy working very hard leading it's actually getting a bit boring at times but but i always look forward for who's behind him and who's fighting for him you see this is the time when i bring out my gun loaded with a bullet and shoot you in the face but he why. wasn't booed yesterday not so much he wasn't booed because there weren't any fans in the grandstand let's face it <laughs> yes about 14 people went uh, uh, to see the race and, and one of them was a security guard yes but wait i'm still going to hold the gun to your head for calling the race boring and you can ask me why for a change i wasn't boring but uh, why why let's face it uh, what vettel and red bull have done in yes. the last few races yes is something that every team and driver have dreamed of doing which is to achieve perfection drive with utmost precision and dominate the damn race and he's doing exactly that so fans instead of sitting and enjoying that part of formula 1 correct where you've seen you know superior driving you're sitting back and saying are yaar these races are becoming boring now why don't we have a pirelli blowing up somewhere <laughs> yes we need pirelli to make a uh, race interesting and and you know pirelli has actually gone on and said drivers if you don't respect us we are giving you the races right now and they've actually gone and fired the hell out of weber and alonso for criticizing them i, I think pirelli is the only reason why formula 1 is entertaining yesterday kimi could drive from 9th to 2nd because of pirellis absolutely and you know i don't want to be too critical mm-hmm. because they've done a decent job mm-hmm. of course on a safety point of view they still need to get there but pirelli should be given some credit because the drivers are achieving perfection mm-hmm. the cars are achieving perfection mm-hmm. and when the tires are perfect we are accusing them of making the races boring and the biggest important part is nobody actually sees that formula 1 cars are producing more and more downforce every year they're getting faster by 2 to 2 seconds which just take a lot of load on the tires so you can't really blame blame pirelli but can you blame ferrari and mercedes for what they keep doing after after the end of every race i'm sorry what uh, they're stealing vettel's thunder so vettel wins they come up with a bigger uh, uh, headline and they take <laughs> the so when vettel won last uh, kimi was announced to ferrari and suddenly everybody was talking about kimi and not vettel and yesterday something new happened and that is that is uh, are you talking of uh, bronze departure from mercedes and a possible entry into mclaren honda but lauda says that they are trying to retain bronze for <laughs> the team is what he says i don't know whether it's true Well, I don't think there is uh, smoke without fire in Formula One. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, if you followed McLaren's tweets over the Korean Grand Prix, they mm-hmm. said they are going to have a headline signing being announced. But yesterday, the headlines actually for me was this one man that we believe is extremely talented and what Formula One drivers uh, teams believe is little heavy. The man called Hulk. That man is. invincibly quick and it's high time that we keep saying this and again and again and again sub top team has to give him a drive he deserves it he deserves it and you know i have two points rishi yes first is he's actually the hulk <laughs> okay he drove a fantastic race Sad. i'm just so surprised that he's not been selected yet by any other formula 1 team for mm-hmm. 2014 mm-hmm. okay and that leads me to believe do the f1 team principals actually watch the same footage of the race as we do <laughs> The man was brilliant out of turn turn two, and he was so confident. Even when Lewis actually overtook him, he knew that he had the traction out of the turn, and he could get him on the straight. So that's amazing. Absolutely, he put two world champions with a DRS enabled wing behind him all through the race. All through the race, and he really made them look so ordinary. He was perfect. He didn't. He put the racing to the edge, but not above it. A lot of maturity. I think he's ready for a championship drive. Yes, I really hope he gets somewhere, Rishi. Yes. Maybe we need to start a petition as always. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and nobody actually listens to it. But besides that, he could be partnering a man who really, really shined yesterday. Name is Grosjean. Only thing that Raikkonen's drive overshadowed yesterday was Grosjean's attempt, which was quite magnum. Which was magnum. <laughs> <laughs> yes which was magnum i'm guessing a lot of people got that joke thankfully but uh, you know in in my view and it's a little surprising that lotus has made a statement now that romain is now the man we or the driver we wanted him to be i mean thank you for being so patient <laughs> but yeah he you know he and hulkenberg could well be a good pairing for next year for lotus that all the criticism or the or the good words for romain 
are only as fresh or as old as his next crash let's keep that in mind and his partner in crime crash ronaldo was was actually quite silent i think his drive was excellent because on his first lap he gained nine places absolutely <laughs> is that your overtaking day, uh, move of the day well the most enjoyable part of the race was when he along with another three cars were trying to battle and you know that included a perez oh yes but for me still the overtaking maneuver of the day would be the one that raikkonen had on grosjean because you know he he was actually there to to take full advantage of the grosjean mistake absolutely that was a ma- magnum move again if i may say that <laughs> and it was done on marble so kudos kimi kimi brilliantly done I, i just hate him on the podium so much because i don't understand a word of what he says <laughs> but i love him so much two people who couldn't overtake and get respectable positions hamilton has gone on to say that me and alonso should be fighting for the title and not for fourth and fifth and we're better than that but can i please make a point here please if you can't overtake hulk it's because hulk is that damn good and you're not better than him <laughs> we really love him i really want to do some some you know i want to put some coconuts to god and, and tell him take all the bad luck off him and give him a great drive another team that i'd like to mention is mclaren because jensen button has been crashing on the first lap on this track for the last two years he's had to pit at the end of that lap for the last two years and he's come back driven very well for the last two years so mclaren looking good looking better than force india f1 sara force india f1 but they're suddenly losing their charm in the F1 paddock because recently a parallel test was cancelled for them and knowing mclaren and what it was in the few, in the past they would have got it their way so are you then trying to say that mclaren is no longer a force to reckon with but, but sara force india is a force <laughs> on the same point of mclaren their desperate measures to gain pace is by giving jensen button a pair of overalls which are probably 100 grams less than his regular <laughs> ones so you can imagine teams are really pushing it to the limit that they are but more importantly the fact that they're still fighting for some extra weight for drivers and hulk may not have a drive because of the same which is bullshit because you know some really talented guys are going to lose out and some tall guys are going to lose out some drives absolutely so are we trying to say that we're going to have anorexic men that we see on ftv which you probably see on ftv walk the <laughs> I think they look like you, they're cute. <laughs> so, are we trying to say we're going to have anorexic men from FTV actually drive Formula One cars? Well, I hope it's the women because you know I'd really like to comment on that. Uh, you know, it's always interesting to see a, a talented lady changing gears in Formula One. But heading to the next race, and and it's a very important race because it's Suzuka. It's one of our favorite tracks. It's Vettel's favorite track, and who's going to bet against him doing well? You are. I want to but I'm going to lose that bet. Let's face Absolutely, it. Absolutely, yes. We're going to have the S's, we're going to have the 130R, the 130R. we're going to have the spoon curve. The spoon curve. Like could we ask for anything more at a circuit? And a, a bursting Pirelli could just do the trick for us. <laughs> I hope there is rain in Suzuka because it's the only chance that any anybody else except Vettel can win that race. But he's won last three of the four Grand Prix that have happened there and one has been won by Button. Button not going to happen. Ferrari not going to happen. Give me very little chance of happening. It Mercedes is not going to happen. So who's going to make it happen, Rishi? What's your predictions? As Vettel and Weber, if his cars doesn't for catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> But having said that, you know, there is a very high chance mm-hmm. that Vettel will be crowned champion this weekend. That is if Alonso doesn't score well. Yes. No, Alonso needs to finish P8 or lower or some some maths like that. But anyways, the maths is sooner or later going to work against him like it worked against me all through school and engineering. <laughs> It's possible we might see Vettel becoming champion in the Indian Grand Prix, which is which is a great privilege because the man has dominated throughout. And and what better place to get crowned? Absolutely, people should be proud that Vettel has had such a brilliant season, mm-hmm. and they should go buy tickets to the Grand Prix and watch the race, Rishi. Yes, you watch the race. We do the blogging. You have the fun. We do the hard work. You get the passion. We make the product. Names are Kunal Shah and Rishi Kapoor. You can catch us here. You can hit the link below. Leave a comment, etc. If you have something great to say about us, great. If you don't. on the page <laughs> inside line of fun comes to you very soon dissecting the japanese grand prix next week